When we had last left the Spacefarer, their business with Ryujin Industries took them back to the clinic. Yes, the same clinic that they had gone to long ago with the Freestar Rangers and as well of their own accord. And it was there that they were to sneak into the secure wing and uncover some Rothside shipment, as well as details on what exactly Infinity LTD was doing there. It seemed as though they had contracted the clinic to do work on the neuroamps, but it was not going well. Indeed, many lives were lost and others uh, in comatose because of the the, the experimental neuroamps not having enough information to uh, appropriately pull off and. Uh, so, with all of that information and the Rothosite, they returned back to Ryujin Industries, where Vina decided to help them out. But, before they could do that, they were tasked by the CEO, Masako, to go and track down some operative at the well. However, there seemed to be a massive issue that would perhaps, uh, screw over everything. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And indeed... Uh, there is no incredible solution that I have aside from using console commands, which I think we'll put off for now. Right, so we'll go and do something else instead of this, which is pretty fucking unfortunate. Uh, but I went and looked it up. Sorry, excuse me. And a lot of people were having issues with this same exact quest. And in looking into it, I did get a little bit spoiled onto what exactly is going on here. Um, this is sort of you tying up different loose ends that you may or may not have had in Ryujin. Like, for example, something that may be here for us is that the operative is Tomo from the beginning. Remember at the coffee store at Terra Brew? Uh, we would be here to tie this up and gun down Tomo. Or, uh, it could be Imogene, right? If you had spared Imogene when you encountered her during the Sioka Syndicate business, uh, she could be the operative here, and you would have to do that. Now, also, not only could the identity of the operative be different, but so too could the location. And I don't know if the location is tied intrinsically to the operative in question, or if the location is chosen randomly, and also the operative that you get to tango with is chosen randomly. I would, I would be inclined to say that it's probably every time you go to the well, it's always the same operative, right? Because I've seen that there are other instances where you go, like, out behind Madame Sauvage's uh, place. There's another place, I think, somewhere on Neon that you have to go and meet. I think at one of the hotels or whatever, I think, uh, has a chance to have this same exact quest pop off there. And, of course, you can completely miss this quest if you do everything to the letter and, um, you know, tie up every loose end. If you have zero loose ends for this quest to uh, activate then you straight up do not get this quest. However, like I said, tons of people getting this issue, seemingly um, going by the dates of the posts that people made, I think it might be with the newest patch that broke this, right? It probably fixed something else in the Ryujin quest arc that also in turn ended up breaking this. You know, they changed one thing and then it had like a domino effect, you know, such is the case with these sorts of sprawling games, especially um, when there are multiple stages to or multiple states, I should say, to how this can play out and like what your objective can be. It's a lot less straightforward than other things we have done, which it is super cool. But man, it super sucks that it has broken for us. Uh, like I said, I found multiple console commands that we could make use of here if we wanted to. However, I think we just hold off for now and see if we can do other stuff and then return back to the Ryujin arc, you know, and see if we can fix it up that way, right? Which kind of sucks, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If, like, 
we do a whole bunch of shit and we end up not still not getting a patch for it i think we come back here and we we hit up the the uh what do you call it the quest stuff anyway i even tried reloading our old save from the start of the last video i tried reloading that and going through the entire quest again at the clinic right i tried doing all of that to where we get this quest fresh and we always get the exact same one here so i think there's some sort of priority running in the background to where it's like oh if you did this um, then this takes priority over it being Imogene, or this takes priority over it being Tomo, or this takes priority of whatever location it's at, you know? Uh, but that didn't work. I tried, um, let's see, I tried not doing, uh, just direct landings on planets and, and all of that. I tried, I tried it to where... Anytime I wanted to fast travel, I got inside my ship, went into orbit, and then landed. Uh, I tried waiting outside of this area, outside, like, beyond the load screen, back on the ship, waiting for 72 hours, which evidently is supposed to be enough to sort of um, reconfigure NPCs and their sort of patterns and all of that. That did not work. Um, of course, I, I tried, like I said, reloading the saves, all that business. Uh, you know, checking the... <laughs> making sure I didn't have mods installed, which I do not. Uh, all, all the stuff that they generally recommend. I think it's just a well-known bug. Uh, they even have a sort of open ticket, as it were, but they have acknowledged it on their forums, nonetheless. Like I, like I said, super sucks, and we'll see if they get it fixed in due time. Speaking of bugs, however, maybe we check out that Stroud Eklund one, over-designed here. We'll see if that works. Right? Because we did have that patch. I'm super curious if this is now working or if the station is, like, still incredibly far fucking away. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, we can travel now? Oh, no, wait, no. It's... We're not quite near it. I don't think. Oh, it is actually in our same vicinity, too. I think. Oh, no, we're already here. Yeah, we're fucked. It's still fucked up. It's still impossibly out there. Unknown vessel, welcome to Stroud, Eklund. You are clear to board. We really legitimately could try and fly out there and reach it. <laughs> that seems really difficult. <laughs> right, that will take so much time. Like, if we did that, I feel like we, we need to build a, a spaceship just to get out there. Just to, like, go incredibly fast. We need to build, like, a little tiny fighter ship that can... That has, like, a million fucking engines on the back that can just propel us as fast as possible. And it'll still take, like, probably half an hour at minimum to reach that, you know? But that may be something that we have to resort to. <laughs> That's not so bad, though, because it doesn't block us from uh, completing the Ryujin quest arc, you know? Which is super duper fucking uh, uh, unfortunate. Anyway, let's deliver this letter to Julia back on the constant, which is out at Parima? Okay. Oh, we need to power up the grav drive. There we are. Also, apologies. Dad, can I have a pet? A pet? Starship, Cora. Pets and starships don't always mix them up. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, please. Haven't you subject. seen the trouble with triples? Oh. But yeah, um. Give him an inch. We'll see, gum gum. Oh, wow, it actually continued it. Huh. But, um. A, a lot shorter video today uh, for both of the videos on the weekend. Baldur's Gate and um, Starfield because uh, we are having family over this weekend, right? So got, got a bit of a like get together event and whatnot, uh, sort of a remembrance after last year's unfortunate uh, goings on uh, for my partner. But uh, we've got that going on. So I'm recording a lot of this in advance. Already had Dragon's Dogma record like super far ahead. So that is completely unimpacted. But uh, as far as Starfield and Baldur's Gate 2 are concerned, a bit shorter, a bit on the shorter side. 
That way we can get stuff done, right? Anyway, let us head on over here to... Let's see... Oh dear. Where in the fuck is it? Parima 2 Orbit. Oh, is it actually just right near me? Am I- am I right here? God, what if it's also, like, impossibly far away? Look, I'm not picking it up or anything. Did it move, maybe? Maybe it moved after I jumped. No? Huh. Maybe this is just the last place we remembered it. Fuck, that would suck ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we're we're in orbit around Paradiso, right? Which we know for certain it is not out here. Oh fuck! Where was where did we last see the constant at? We had seen it somewhere, but I don't remember where. Oh dear God, we're never gonna fucking find it. They may as well be lost in fucking space, dude. I'm never gonna find them. Was it out here by, like, Cheyenne? No. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, look. There's a special icon because we have a... An outpost there. Okay. Well, fuck it. I guess we'll do something else while we <laughs> while we hopefully look for it. Let's proceed to Paradiso then. We're here already. Let's go get married to Sarah. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> okay. There we are. Good. Are we expecting that there may be something that goes horribly wrong here? Right? I could very well see... Like, Sarah's mother showing up anyway, uninvited, and there being some drama by way of that. Maybe something with Aja, I don't know. Maybe both. Oh, look at this world. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Jesus, Sarah, I never took you here? Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's have words. As we were landing, I picked up a message from Aja. She said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. Oh, okay. Before we go to the ceremony, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Sarah Morgan. I can't imagine my life without you as a part of it. I believe you and I have always been destined to be together. Why would you ask me that? What a terrible thing to say. Oh my gosh. This is the, this is a horrible time to respond uh, with a question. Let's do it. I don't know. I suppose I'm worried that I'm forcing you down a path you don't want to travel. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. But you've done so much for me already. I almost feel like you'd marry me just to make me happy, despite your own feelings. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay. No, Sarah, I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. I love you, and I'm forever thankful to have someone as amazing as you in my life. Now, come on. Aja is waiting for us. Okay. Well, let's head on over to the beach then. Oh, there's a natural over there. I think that was always there. Okay. Oh, we certainly came at a beautiful time of day as well. Look. I don't think this was here before, right? I don't think this was clipping through the the ground the first time we had come by. Right? Oh, Paradiso is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place for a resort? I don't know. I'm maybe less of a beach person. Like, I do enjoy a beach, but I think I prefer more of, like, a woodland. You know? Some sort of, like, hobbit-esque shire area, right? Maybe a meadow. 
Something like that. Something more woodsy. Like, I do love beaches. It's very cool, but I wouldn't want to be there for, like, ever. Right? I wouldn't want to live on a beach. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, Asha. Damn, she's already out here. Okay, fuck. Sarah has assumed the position. Okay. Just a few moments for everyone to take their places. Aja, it's just us, I think. It's, it's literally just us. It's really wild. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? We're made for each other. She's more than special. She's one of a kind. I know she deserves better, better but I'll have to do. Uh, let's go with this. She's more than special. She's one of a kind. I, w I wonder, do you get to even meet Aja if you don't romance Sarah? It seems pretty wild that you might not ever meet Aja, given... Aja's, like, involvement with Constellation, you know? Aja f seems fairly important in that regard. To be relegated to just a sort of side character in Sarah's personal quest. Anyway, she's more than special. She's one of a kind. Oh, God. Now you're embarrassing me. Yeah, that is a pretty embarrassing <laughs> thing to say, but That's in kind of a good love, way. my dear. You better get used to it. Well... I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you, you're you going can? to make Sarah quite happy. Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Is there a now, case in which she doesn't approve? In the ceremony? Like if, if my relationship with Sarah somehow got tanked? before we did this, right? Like, we got up high enough to have this quest active, but then we lowered it. Is there reactivity where we're in Aja is like, you know, I don't know about this. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm ready. I need a moment. I'm ready. Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. Sarah's just going it's to wear her casual jacket. Since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony, <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I'd ask both of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith, devotion, and acceptance. And most importantly, to allow yourself to be loved. Remember, there are no other bonds. Oh my gosh, she says a lot. Than the one you are undertaking today. You should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. I don't think Did it was that beautiful. Moment, no, no, I'm fine. But oh my God, Sarah's over I here dying. To say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I deserve to be with someone who understands my feelings. 
It was at that very moment I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Your love means everything to me. And I swear to return that love freely and unconditionally without hesitation. This is my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. Oh my god, mm -hmm. Sarah. Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? Uh oh, I can't say that much, can I? <laughs> Shit, I have like... Oh, sorry, Sarah, I've got one sentence each. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm real sorry. That was impressive, Sarah, but uh, I, I can only pick one of three sentences here. <laughs> I promise to love you, honor you, respect you, and cherish you forever. The words you just said mean the world to me, and I swear I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. I invite you to share every aspect of my life so that our dreams of a wonderful future together will come to pass. Huh. I mean, I love this sort of classic vibe of the first one here. But also, I feel like mentioning, Take saying your time. you're... I don't mind waiting. Oh, God, this is the... <laughs> but, um... Saying that her words mean the world to me feels like it, it almost zeroes in a bit of... Into a bit of, like, Sarah's love of exploration. You know, that one feels right. Let's go with that. The words you just said mean the world to me, and I swear I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. That said, it is also a lot more about me living up to expectations, right? I don't know. Hmm. And hey, let's go with it. Fuck it. I know you will. Oh, look, we can't actually say more. Okay. You're the most beautiful and caring person I've ever known, and I'm lucky to have you in my life. I'll always be by your side, ready to comfort you when you're sad and smile with you when you're happy. Whatever challenges life throws in our path, you can be certain that we will shoulder those burdens together. Okay. I like the middle one, right? I'll always be by your side, ready to comfort you when you're sad and smile when with you when you're happy, right? I feel like... I, I don't like the, the whole... It, you know, like, it doesn't it doesn't work for me on a personal level, saying, like, oh, you're the most beautiful and caring person I've ever known, well, right? Don't go all quiet on me. It feels me. a little, like, empty platitude -y. You know what I'm saying? I, I more so like the, the feeling of commitment of saying, like, yeah, we're here for, for better or worse. <laughs> like, you know, better or worse. I mean, you know, uh, you can't get much better, much better than that. All right. I'll be by your side, ready to comfort you when you're sad, and smile with you when you're happy. I don't deserve someone as special as you. You had a gift, Sarah? Oh, fuck. Yes. I wanted you to have this as a token of our love. I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. I didn't get her a ring. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that... I'll be forever grateful. With these promises of Sarah's affection... Sarah's commitment gift. ...and these vows you've exchanged, by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation... The Articles I of Constellation? you life mates. Life Congratulations! Mates. Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sarah. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. I can't believe we get all this pomp and circumstance for us getting married. And sure, it's a quiet one. Uh, but um, I feel like we should have had different outfits or something, right? I don't know. I feel like Sarah should have worn... Something aside from her usual, like, work and literal combat fighting gear, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, thanks for everything, Aja. I promise to take good care of her, Aja. Is there any way I can repay you for all the trouble? Uh, is there any way I can repay you for all the trouble? That isn't necessary. 
This was my gift to the both of you. Well, you're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. Wow, she's just gonna peace I'll out. I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. Don't worry. I know how new the is gonna be. Whoa. I'll try to work on her for you and Sarah. Dear sister? Oh wait, that's for Right, the constant. Sarah, what's I'm what's here up? For you, my love. Oh my gosh. How are you feeling about our marriage? Marrying you was the single best decision I've made in my entire life. Huh. You'll have to forgive me, but our marriage isn't working out. Oh my god, can you get divorced? Those words mean everything to me, Sarah. Those words mean everything to me, Sarah. If it keeps us close. Then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Okay. God. That is wild that you could just break up after you're married too. Huh. What is our commitment gift? I'm trying to think who, who would be the most tragic character to like marry and then divorce. Probably Sam, right? It's got to be Sam. Because it's yet another one. Oh my god. She gave me her dog tag? Her jean tag? Oh my god. Sarah. <laughs> Why would you give me this? Oh, Sarah, this is such a weird commitment gift. Oh my god. I wonder what everyone's are. Look, does it say something there? Does that say something Sarah Morgan? Yeah, like Corporal Sarah Morgan? Commander? I forget what her old rank was. Sorry, Sarah, I forgot. Okay. Well, amazing. What a wild thing. I, I didn't get you anything, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, this is a bit of a one-sided relationship here in that it regard. It was a wonderful wedding. I was so happy to officiate for you. Yeah, Asha, what, um, what the fuck is up with you, by the way? I'm happy to host Abigail here at my home. She's quite charming. Hmm? Who? What? Abigail at your home? Who? Who is Abigail? This is this is your home, <laughs> Asha. Wh what? <laughs> Why did you decide to leave Constellation? What do you think of Paradiso? What was Sarah like when she was apprenticed with you at Constellation? Too bad we can't tell Aja. By the way, Aja, um, things have really been popping off in Constellation in uh, the past few weeks and months. Why did you decide to leave Constellation? I was chair of Constellation for 35 years. I was there for all the low points and all the high. I kept Constellation out of the colony war, made some incredible discoveries, and recruited some of the most amazing explorers in the settled systems. I just finally reached a point where I felt I'd done enough. And it was time to give Sarah a chance. And I have no regrets either. If you're expecting controversy or some sort of political reason, I can assure you, it doesn't exist. And if only. You and me, I'm not getting any younger, eh? <laughs> and this tired old woman wanted to enjoy the sunset of her life on this beautiful world. Yeah. Wait, hold up. Yeah, Asha is supposed to be like Sarah's older mentor. Dog, Asha looks like she could be the exact same age as Sarah. Right? Asha oh, does yeah. not look like Did an I older woman. Wrong? She does kind of sound it though, right? She definitely sounds like she could very easily be Sarah's elder. Or at the very least, you know, like a like ten years or so, roughly. Um, if not more. But she doesn't look it at all. Aja looks almost exactly the same age as Sarah, right? What do you think of Paradiso? You have to ask? Look at the place. It's absolute paradise. I can spend my day at the beach, relax with a cool drink and get up on some reading, enjoy the cuisine, whatever my heart desires. I haven't even traveled off world since I arrived. Hell, I haven't even boarded a spacecraft. 
It's so wonderfully liberating. You Moving live here. Moving to Paradiso was one of the oh. best decisions I made in my entire life. I thought we just chose Paradiso because it was very nice, not because you live here and never want to board a spacecraft again, which is honestly really wild coming from someone who's like leading up a space exploration organization like Constellation, you know? I mean, sure, you retire and stuff, but didn't you have like an undying passion for it? Huh. And and maybe you know what? Now that I think of it, maybe the reason why Sarah looks so aged, or or it's not that Aja looks so young. Maybe it's that Sarah looks so so aged because she's always stressing out over her like former work in the UC. You know, all of her military experience like ran a number on her. You know, so Sarah should technically look even younger than she does. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, what, what was Sarah like when she apprenticed with you at Constellation? <laughs> she was a royal pain in the butt. That what she was. Hmm? Hot-headed, impulsive, eager to rush into things without examining the ramifications, eh? Honestly, a lot like I was at her age. <laughs> Her hunger to explore the void was the most fervent I'd seen in my years at Constellation. There wasn't a single assignment she'd refuse. All in all, though, she was one of the best explorers I've traveled with. And I'd wager that holds true up to today. That woman has a good head on her shoulders. You should count yourself lucky to be a part of her life. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I do, I, like I said, I do enjoy Sarah. Have a truly pleasant day. Okay. Anything else? What's happening, darling? Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Sure. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Let's just talk this out in front of Aja. Have you had any past relationships you're willing to discuss? There was a particular someone back in my days with the UC Navy. We actually became quite close at first. But as I rose in rank, I became more interested in my career than what she needed from me. I let her drift away. By the time I realized what was happening, it was too late. She requested a transfer, and I lost touch. Anyway, <laughs> I've dated other men and women at various points in my life, but I'd hardly classify any of them as relationships. As you might have guessed, I tend to concentrate on work and let my personal feelings fall by the wayside. It often drives others away. Hmm. Right. I mean, if anything, I kind of... I, I don't know. I kind of like that as a problem for you. <laughs> I kind of enjoy that, right? I'm kind of in the, oh, don't worry, Sarah. Th this is no problem. I can fix this. <laughs> Whatever I'm I feel like I'm in that boat. All right. Do you think Sona will be all right? Absolutely. Sona is clever, and she's proven that she can tackle anything life throws in her path. You can rest assured that she will get the best education and care that Constellation can possibly provide. You know, Sona and I share an interesting bond. We both survived on that inhospitable world, and it drastically altered our lives. Most importantly, though, I'm certain we're both stronger after the experience. Right. Man, do you think... Is Sona, like, becoming our sort of de facto adopted child? <laughs> like, no. Sarah, do we have a kid now? Is Sona our, our kid? I know it's nothing official, but it's starting to feel like Sona is maybe our kid. I didn't think that Sona would be in the picture for this much, but um, I don't know. It's a little wild, but, you know, maybe I'm here for it. I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Oh, God, Sarah. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't think we ever came out here to the beach at night. Look at how nicely lit the interiors are from out here. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Jeez, you can see quite a few fucking details there. Oh. Casium. Yeah, even the, the little... Knickknacks are lighting up with our scanner. 
Huh. Pretty impressive. Okay. Sure. Well. Holy cow, I guess we're married now. We don't have a follow-up quest or anything, do we? No. We should probably... T yeah, we should talk with Barrett and Andresia about all this. We should, we should definitely do that. Okay. Well, uh, holy cow. I suppose when next we come back, um, we can go chat them up and hit up some other side quests and whatnot. Um, we'll see how long we can put off the Ryujin Industries. Uh, it's really unfortunate that this has happened at this point in time, you know, because it really seemed like things were coming to a head. <laughs> like, we probably only had, uh, it felt like two or three more quests remaining in the entire Ryujin arc. And now we've been kind of sidelined by this. Uh, at the very least, thank fuck we're on PC. If we really want to, we can hit up the console commands. Uh, you know, as always, pour one out for the folks running on console. Right? Anyway, when next we come back, we'll hit up some more side quests. Right? We got plenty of them. Maybe we can go looking for uh, the constant. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll run into it or some shit. Until next time, please take care of each other. Thank you.